How's it going? I got the Stanley wire strippers here. Little ones. Because I have the automatic adjusting ones. But they are, even though they work great, they, um, they're bulky. So, so I to get these in case when I'm doing uh, uh, wire work on my cars, I need to get into a tight spot. But let's do a live opening. See if I can add to the blood on the pad here. Ah, disappointment. Disappointment. Sorry, blood stain. You're all by yourself today. Okay, has a lock here. Opens up. Goes from 12 to 22. Make it strip. Uh, sort of pliers there. Cutter, of course. And that's about it on it. Not 100% about these holes. I don't think they're really for anything. If you know, let me know. And uh, I'll test them out on some uh, 22 gauge wire that I have. Because the automatic ones do great on it. Let's see. 22. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah. Because these type of ones that if I can get on camera that overlap, that's the kind that you want. Not like, let me get the other ones. Okay, not like these cheapy ones that most of us have. Just taking up space in the toolbox. Because you can see the light in between the cutter right there. And there is no light in that cutter right there. Because that's what you want to look for. At least I know that on wire, wire strippers. You want something to overlap the uh, the cutters and the cutter and the blades and all from the uh, wire stripping part right there. So that that good that bad. Uh, I bought this and I think I've used it once um, and what was pissed off. So then I got the Irwins of these and then these and now these. So you need a good pair of wire strippers, a small one, to get in there. Especially if you do car work because sometimes you have no choice. You can't take everything out. But, those are pretty good. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.